Okay, so here, here it is. Um, it was the unemployment claims that came out from the states, and they were a slightly, slightly higher. So they were expecting 191k, and they got 196k. So 5k, 5k out of 5k out of almost 200k, I think, is less than less than. 0.5% I believe so 1% would be I'm terrible at that I should have calculated that beforehand um, anyways it's it's very little compared to the forecast and also compared to how the coins and the stock market moved so I again we might be looking at the uh, the macro and the news thinking they're moving the market but in my opinion it's just the the, the patterns the 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 swings coming to their natural completion and then coming down for a correction which is what makes them sustainable and the correction will be our answer as to where this is going if it is sustainable or if it's not if it is going to if it is going to drag on into the consolidation in in the bear market and then eventually come for a final leg down um because we haven't, we haven't, we haven't hit that panic sell uh, situation um, psychology. So here we are on the S and P with a lower low, breaking the support. So here is the um, the famous yellow line I've been showing uh, you over the past two weeks since this rally started. Because the S and P is the one that that started moving, and then crypto started moving with it as well. So. Um, we broke we broke into a lower low today the stochastic is uh, on the daily is coming down we haven't yet reached the support in terms of the 20 ma on the bollinger but it looks like it looks like we are at least tomorrow i believe we're, we're gonna we're gonna do that it's very it's um now i have noticed over the past two weeks um that the pre-market data is quite different from what TA is saying. For instance, today the pre-market data was showing an increase and here we are with a drop. So now we, again, it's, it's, it's all part of noticing where this consolidation is going to take us because the S&P, as much as this looks like an ascending, like a, like a swing that's been going up, it's also been a sideways in this space, so this would be the level. But it's it's far from being completed on the daily in terms of the swings, this sideways consolidation. We would need a couple more swings before the break down or upwards if it is to make another step up. But even if there is, um, even if it's just coming down for a consolidation swing to prepare for an up, it would do something along these lines and then lift up. So that would make it a, a lot more sustainable than where it is right now with just a 0 0.5 correction. Now, having said that, the S&P is in a much more solid situation than the coins because the the coins haven't even made that 0 0.5 correction um, also the dxy is um, back testing the support line now it was looking great for the back test and the continuation the other day but now it's looking like um, it's not moving on so we don't have at the moment let me just check the the dxy hasn't yet closed Do we have we do have a slightly higher high today for the for the DXY, but we also have a lower low today. So we have an outside an outside candle, and this outside candle should be continuing the trend. Now this is a swivel. This should pivot, um, and it is a lower low, I believe. Here low is uh -huh. yes. Yes, so this is a slightly lower low starting uh, to pivot downwards. But again, we are. it is a game of support at the moment, support and resistance, because we are still ranging. And it is, um, even the DXY has been ranging over the past four days. It has been quite volatile, 
but it's still it's still holding support as is if the dxy holds support and lifts up to the next level of support and resistance then we are looking at uh, a drop for the coins probably more than uh, just a simple 0 0.5 correction we could be looking deeper at um, a 702 or a 786 correction now the four hour on the DXY looks like it's ready to lift again the four hour looks like it's found a support back on the support line and it seems to be wanting to lift but it still hasn't managed to regain the four, the 20 on the four hour so we're 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 still in uncertain um, technicals as to where this is going because as we at the moment we just back tested the 20 on the four hour and got rejected and now it looks like it wants to have a go at it again and maybe this time it'll turn it into a into a support now um, let's have a look at Bitcoin and what Bitcoin um, is doing at the moment um, Bitcoin at the moment is breaking the 20 EMA on the daily um, at the it's it's the first breaking of the 20 considering that it hasn't had a clean back test so far so once this 20 is broken on the daily i will be talking about daily and four hourly levels at the moment uh, because they're the ones that are are true um, it's not it's this consolidation has been taking too long to be a one hour consolidation it's a four hour consolidation and we're looking at intermediary levels um, between um, 22.5 and 20.6. 20, 20, 20 and the 21.4 in the middle. So the 21.4 would be sort of like the midline. I don't believe that this will stop at 21.4. I believe this is going to go at least down to the 20.6. 20, 20 um, and the 18.5 would be the most, um, the most sustainable level to retrace for continuation uh, this is a top formation as is at the moment um, and the channel that it's fallen out of is a channel that was quite ready to uh, move down from even this arc is uh, is ready let me put this there we go i had it i had it as a divergence line with these bottoms here and this is the four hour time frame so I think these could stand as a divergence and here would be the breakdown and the um, the the retracement levels would be the golden pocket 18.5 18.2 702 would be 17.7 so perfectly okay to come back to there and then continue if if again if there is if there are buyers in that region to buy the dip to buy that correction it will continue to the upside if there are no buyers and if the macros and the fundamentals are showing us that there is um there is more pain to come then we are gonna see uh, this 18.5 and 17.8 level break and we are in for a lower low a deeper correction and in that case we would be looking at the daily we would be looking at the daily levels um, here's my chart here my lines my pink lines disappeared Somehow. Oh, no, they are. they're there. Perfect. Okay, I have a similar chart on a different uh, on a different page. So we would be looking at another uh, at a deeper level of thirteen point three. But that's uh, that that will be that will be a possibility once this keeps going. It looks like it's going to keep going. Um, again, there was a lot of up and down. I made some notes. Um, I'm gonna get them I forgot to get them now um, I'll get them after I'm done with the levels there there is a lot of um, how can I say fake moves up and down in this choppy sideways because uh, both the MAs and the stochastics become very sensitive and very vulnerable to movement and they fake uh, show different different levels or different situations 
so it's it's hard to read what's what's going on but again we would we would be using the daily levels to see if we're coming back down for a correction or if we're staying for some more consolidation at the moment everything seems to be plummeting down and here we are very very close to hitting the 21.5 that we were just talking about so for the for for the for the levels that I'm looking at um, at the moment, um, where are they? There we go. Perfect. Um, here is Bitcoin's here is Bitcoin's chart, and here we are with a downwards move outside of the no. <laughs> That's XRP. Sorry, I was just telling Michael it's 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 starting to be too late for me uh, to speak at uh, eleven. My time. Oh, where is my they're my levels they were right in front of me all this time so uh, here we are coming out of this arc and um, once it breaks this level we do have some support around the 0 0.5 uh, I believe that uh, it, it, that that support will and that 0 0.5 is 19.4 on the daily we don't have an MA and 19.4 we have the 55 a 20 Point five, which might stop it, but twenty point five would be just a zero point three eight two correction, which I think this has more potential. This this whole swing will come down deeper than that. Um, I've rarely seen Bitcoin not not do a, a, an even like just a Bitcoin do just a, a three a two correction. Bitcoin generally does at least a 0 0.5 for continuation, if not a golden pocket. So the 0 0.5 would be um, the target for this drop, and I believe that is 19.5, uh, and that would be confirmed if we take... I was going again to the XRP chart because they look so... Uh, the, these two channels look so similar. Now I'll be taking the width of this. Ah, I don't. I don't think I do have to 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 make this measurement. I was thinking about taking the width of this uh, triangle, the width of this arc, but then I realized it's this uh, space of consolidation. So it is the next level. If if I if I were to measure the target of this um, of this push down, so. I don't believe that we'll stop until we hit that um, 0618 uh, or 0 0.5 and around 18.4 and he, there is where we might continue to lift up if we are going to lift out of the bear market or we're going to push down for a third leg down if we are going to consolidate in the bear market. I don't have the the answer to what's going to happen after the 18 point um, after the 18.5. Now, um, I was talking this morning about the crossings of the MAs. Um, so we have on the weekly, we have a death cross, which I believe will happen after, after this weekend. If we're gonna keep on pushing down, this week is gonna close with a death cross, the 50 coming down over the 200. However, we have a golden cross on the daily, here the 50 coming up over the 200 now uh, I'm gonna change from okay there is finally okay now now I have the whole history this morning the whole history was a little bit off for bit stamp but now it's working so if we're looking if we're looking at um, golden crosses on um, Bitcoin on the daily we can see that they 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 tend to be big events and they lead to big uh, per, uh, percentage increases, 200%. Um, I'm not even going to measure this because this, this looks absolutely humongous here. It is uh, 700, a seven, almost an 8x. However, there are moments like, and here is where we are going to get a little bit um, confused uh, there are moments like here this is the covid crash um but in 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 the in the 
in the uh, bigger picture, this here as well was a consolidation stage for this lift here. So there was the, the 50 coming up above the 200 and um, price action actually started dumping. In, of course, in the case of a pandemic that happens once a century, um, that is completely justified. That, that can happen too. Uh, a second case of that crossing not having the desired effect would be right about here around the topping out formation. Um, it was a it, the 50 crossed up and it lifted. Um, it lift. It had lifted previously, and that it was just a delayed um, reaction. I want to make the chart bigger, but I want to remove these drawings before I do for you to see. So here it is. The green line. The green line is the the fifty, and the red line is the two hundred. So here's here's where it happened, and here was the lift, which was I believe the consequence of this swing up, and then it came crashing down, and then it did continue up. There was a drop here. Um, initially and then continued up it made a higher high and then started coming down and here was the death cross that led to all of this doom and gloom and now we have the golden cross that might end it all now um, the, again I will make this daily situation a little bit a little bit bigger for you to see um, I believe it, it'll all be clear to us uh, or clearer to us when we come down over the 200. So if we come down here and backtest the 200 at 19.7, which is um, a 0 0.5 correction, the 19.7 the 19 here would... Um, would give us the correction of the swing, would make it more sustainable, and it would be the backtest of this 200 on the daily. It's great to hold the 200 on the daily, but it's not so great to hold the 200 on the daily without that backtest, because this has the likes of a parabolic move when it's not really a parabolic market stage. So we don't have parabolic fundamentals at the moment to justify this and say, oh yeah, we're doing great economically, of course, this is, this is pumping. So at the moment, it's just looking like it is a rally. And in order, a, a bull market, a, a bull rally in a bear market. And in order to have this um, stand on its feet, on its legs, on its corrective, sustainable legs, we need to see uh, the, the back test of this 50 and this 200. And if they hold, happy days we might see the lift out of this bear market if they don't i believe that this is gonna have the same have the same fate as what happened here came up dropped came up dropped came up dropped so we would have the M formation, step down, step M formation level one, step down level two, lift again, level three. So one, two, three steps down. And here we would, after the third step down, we would be making the bottom formation and lifting out. So that would be, again, that would be my daily, my daily analysis. Um, just to, uh, just to show you why I. Um, the similarities of the pattern in terms of the drops and the, the lifts. So this was the first um, the first lift and it hit it set this beautiful divergence line. Then the second um, yeah the second here uh, couldn't really reach that divergence line but this one reached it and broke it which is again it, it's great for price action but unless it goes somewhere, this divergence line will just be moved to this level and we would have a blowhorn formation that would eventually 
break out uh, now here would be 11 so we could just stay and consolidate between I I believe I have uh, 8k and um, no 10k 10k and 13k and then slowly slowly break out again we'll we'll cross that bridge when we get there we don't have those levels yet in the cars there are no measured moves to take us there except for the the previous uh, patterns on the daily and where we are now in terms of having a look at, at this daily channel i was thinking is this daily channel complete or not I have a simplified version here, so I'm not going to take this swing into account. I'm just going to take this one. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that would be one, two, three, one, two, three. So I, I still think we need one more drop down in this channel and then one more lift. And then it's ready to go, which would, again, make sense. But we have to see first, we have to see, I know I'm repeating myself, we have to see price action break back in. If it doesn't break back in, then we already have had our three steps down. It was just that maybe my, uh, my TA was overestimating and we, we would have had one here, two here, and then this would have been the third. Maybe, maybe it's like that. I don't think it's like that. I would have corrected if I if I thought. But again, as a possibility, I'll, I'll keep that in mind. And we've had our W formation here, and now we're lifting. The level to break. Just to just to to give you the levels on the days to keep in mind. Because there are a lot of there are a lot of moon YouTubers um, promoting this pump as the best of their lives. Um, so the the level the level to break would be this level here, 24.3. I would say 25k. Once we break 25k, we are confirming this as a W formation. I know it's wonky and I know it looks terrible, but that's what it is with all this dragging on situation we break the 20 25k we are gonna lift after all this clo closing above the 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 200 and the 50 on the daily i think we're gonna continue upwards of course there will be the 30k level to break as well that needs to break for continuation but the 25k is the level that i have in mind um for Bitcoin to get out of this bear market. Now, looking at the, the four hour, looking at the four hour uh, channel that we have been looking at for the past month, um, you know, I'm gonna tell you that the 200 uh, MA is the next target and it's really close. It's like literally dollars close to it, 21,691 and 21,613, $80. I believe that 20.5 is the next, which is the 50, 55 on the daily. And um, if you if you, if you're looking at this uh, in terms of how um, how this has moved, we've done a lot of consolidation here at the bottom. We've done a lot of consolidation here at the top. I believe we're going to come down and do the three steps down and hit the 18.4. So just a review of the levels for Bitcoin. We have broken the peak formation. I think this is now level three and I will officially, there we go, officially bring this in. Now, of course, because we never know what's going to happen tomorrow or during Asia, if this gets back above this level, if this gets back above 22.4, we might be looking at another swing to the top, another swing to 24.4, 24.5 or thereabouts. So again, I, I believe that this consolidation has had plenty of uh, swings. So I think we're done here. 
we've broken support and now we're coming down for the correction and that correction will be at least 19.5 or uh, 0618 volatility is the name of the game on Fridays most of the times so if we are gonna have volatility to the upside and to the downside tomorrow as it generally happens on Fridays to settle the books before the closing of the week we might see another push to the to the top not a not necessarily a higher high though sometimes if we're looking at Bitcoin before it breaks I know I know it's it does these higher high formations so it it consolidates it has some swings towards the end it looks complete we're coming down and then it does a little higher high formation in that swing so here it broke the previous low broke the support but then still came up for a higher high here it didn't break the support but still came up for a higher high and then came down so it might it might want to do that that's why I'm saying at all times um, have a look at um, the, where your pivot point would be and secure your profits divergence lines have really helped me um, these weeks to, to see what's gonna happen so for instance having a stop loss above the divergence line because if this is to come down this needs to keep that divergence line clear and um, Um, it can't it can after all of this it can't break up because then it'll wipe out your your profits so again that's what I would do if if I were in in a short uh, situation right now I'm not in any trade at the moment um, I wanted uh, I, I put a, a short position in XRP and that wick uh, wicked me out and then I was looking at price action and it did offer a good entry on the one hour, but it, it was looking very ropey in terms of support, and I chose not to not to do it. Now, um, here here is where, yeah, here's where here's here's where I'll stop my my Bitcoin levels, and I'll post them um, I'll post them tomorrow on the on the chats. We need to follow to see how the four hour EMAs are gonna hold because um, as long as it holds below the 20 EMA on the four hour there is no sign of reversal so we if you are in a short position um, as long as it holds below the 20 EMA on the four hour it won't be reversing and there are most likely going to be at least three back tests of of that 20 we've seen only one so far so I'll, I'll take I'll take this consolidation um, as the uh, as the, the the main consolidation here's where it broke here's where it back tested and got rejected and here's where it starts spilling and I'm very conservative in doing so because again technically this is also part of the peak formation but because of what happened here below the 20 I'll take this as the initial breaking of the 20 on the 4 hour and then this as the back test. So we've had a one back test, we still need a couple of them um, to be thinking about reversals. Yeah, this this was just one swing, this didn't reach it. So one back test, two more to go. And with two more back tests to go, I'd say we still have uh, space for the five, uh, the, for the 0 0.5 or the 0618 retracement. Okay, um, that's it. That's Bitcoin. The levels for the weekend will be the levels between level three and level two. So this is where I believe we're going to be moving. And yes, if we if there is a stop loss hunt because this is what happened, this is what happened here. Uh, this is what happened here and this is what happened here before coming down, it did a stop loss hunt. So that might be the case um, especially with the Friday volatility and that's why I would be securing profits if I'm not watching if you're watching constantly 
um, as in you have the space and the time to watch it every hour or so because this is a four hour move it won't it won't uh, it won't be super snappy we've left that choppy uh, range now we are in a lot in 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 a space of support and resistance so it it should be building up some support if it is to reverse so if you are if you are in the position to watch it you don't need to to put a tight stop loss on it but if you are uh, not watching it again i would be using the divergence line or the previous support and resistance line or the vwap line to um to secure profits nobody nobody was ever unhappy with with taking profits now um for ethereum ethereum is still in its so ethereum is one step behind um bitcoin where it is now it's one step behind bitcoin it also has tougher levels to map out um on on the four hour in terms of the levels uh, the three steps up Uh, because uh, Ethereum's third level is not so <laughs> like if we are to take if we are to take this as the first level by this I mean this bottom here so this would be the consolidation if we are to take this as as the first level and then the lift out of this consolidation um, as the second level up to here and then we're looking at the third level up to there then um, that might work but they would be very very tight these two and what I mean by that is I'm gonna move this here so this would be level one this would be level two and then this would be level three, and I'll and I'll leave it I'll leave it like like so. Two touches, two strike throughs, more or less. So these would be the three levels, um, and if we see now, here's here's where my three levels. Um, need to stand the test of the back test because uh, right now we are seeing um, what we're seeing is another leg down so ethereum hasn't broken support ethereum isn't in the same situation as bitcoin like look bitcoin already broke level three coming down in the space of level two ethereum has yet to do that it's, it, it looks like it's going to do it. It looks like here it is. It's going to do it now. Uh, so once once it does that, we are in, in the space of level two. But it still hasn't happened. Is this channel ready to break out? I believe it is. Because we, we do have, if I, am to, if I am to be a little bit more generous, and I have to because of the nature of the choppiness, one two three touches to the top and then i have one two three touches to the bottom and here we are ready to break out so if we're looking at um seeing where this is gonna go down to here again the golden pocket 13 14 beautiful conf 13 40 beautiful confluence there um i don't see any reason why it wouldn't get to that to that space there again I, I can't I I can't tell you this is what's gonna happen because um, I don't know what's gonna happen for sure but it looks like this is uh, what might happen so you know you know what I mean you know you you guys know exactly what I mean so I, I am I am looking at this support line being broken and uh, for a correction of this swing to start and to 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 have that correction show us if this is gonna be a one two three four five or this was it and now we're coming back down for a daily drop 
to another level. Because again, we've had the same situation for Ethereum in this channel, similarly to Bitcoin. We had a drop and then we had a lift and then we had the first uh, first first massive drop, so level one, level two. And now we've had the lift, we've consolidated here. And are we lifting now here for another drop or are we lifting here? To do a W formation and reverse. That's again. That's the big question, and I will, I will, I will, I will redo my uh, TA and, um, of course, take my uh, my third level out and say I was wrong. If I am, if I am proven wrong, and if we do break the peak formation here at twenty two five zero, so twenty two five zero and thirty k for Bitcoin are the levels that will prove me wrong that there is there is not going to be another th third leg down if we if we if we break those levels we are in two possible situations either coming up for a, for another top in this which would be which wouldn't be ideal because I I I'd, I'd rather have the second situ situation so either coming up for a third top here maybe a little bit higher maybe a little bit lower somewhere around there or actually a third leg up which would be ideal and I'm taking this measured move for Ethereum and if it does break from that this would be a there we go uh, I'll place it here thereabouts so this would be a target of <laughs> for the Ethereum holders amongst this 20, uh, almost 20k, 20, 22k. So that would be the measured move of this consolidation if this turns into that beautiful um, uh, third leg up rather than down. But again, we, we, we at the moment there is no TA or fundamentals for that reason to be talking about numbers like that because um, where would the money be coming from they're just trying to get the money out of the market and decrease inflation at the moment so again it's a little bit um, it sounds like a fantasy a novel at the moment so that's 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 where ethereum is at the moment for the daily levels i'm looking at the 55 to hold if the 55 doesn't hold then the 13 20 13 30 um level should hold because if we want to see continuation to back test the 2200 this needs to be so this was the the leg down and then it formed this w and we're out of this w and then if we come down we shouldn't break the peak of this w and we should continue upwards in a one two three four five formation so that would be the impulse the impulse wave the way for uh, instance and I'll show you on a previous rally this made a W formation and then came up and then came down it didn't break this level and continued and did another another lift uh, quite quite considerable 50% so that's that's what we're that's what we are in for if if the 30 13 40 level doesn't break so that's that's what we will be looking at um, if that level holds we need to see it hold and I don't think anybody um, right right now knows 66% uh, would be up to 22 so I don't think anybody right now knows it we can all look at the previous patterns we can look at the momentum oscillators we can look at the MAs the important thing for me is to look at the levels and uh, see how they're holding and even so I find it challenging to read them and I choose to sit back um, I am a cautious trader I am more um, I am more on the cautious side um, if I don't have my three yeses to go into a trade, I won't. Um, does does that mean I miss trades? Yes, uh, but I'd rather have the three yeses and have a clear movement and a trend um, 
a higher probability trade is in my in my opinion a better choice for my strategy and also my um, energetic expense in terms of watching it and monitoring it so that's 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 it um, again for ethereum just to have a quick uh, look at it going just to have a quick uh, review and recap i expect to be moving between level two and level three similarly I have been a little, I have been, not a little, um, these, these weeks I have been significantly overestimating the levels for Friday and the weekend and the reason, the reason being is um, we have had, uh, we have had a fair bit of volatility and I think it's good to be prepared and see the potential because in case you are trading in the opposite direction, you can uh, you can see, for instance, how much a certain move would put you in the red. You can you can see the potential of that move. For instance, if I weren't to add, if I weren't to add the whole of the level two here, if I were just to say. Oh, we're coming um, down to here. That would be the level that, as as tight as it is, just considering the previous uh, drop, and then I'll take the first drop here and 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 make it a level. And it's also a historic level if we if we are to expand right about here. So again, it it wouldn't be completely unjustified to keep it super super tight like that. But then imagine if you are in a um, in a short position or in a long position, but you're in a short position and you're looking at taking your profits here at the 382 rather than wait for the 05 or know that the potential is actually for the 618 at 1340. Um, or the other way around, if you started longing on this support line and you see price action coming down and you're thinking, Oh, it's just gonna go down to the 382 because that's where the support um, line is and previous peaks stopped there. So we're gonna stop there. But the difference from that one to the next 0 0.5 level would be a 4.5 difference. So that would put you 45% of the 10x in the red. And it would be better to, of course, I'm not gonna say put the stop loss in uh, and get out but it would be better for you to have that risk in mind so not necessarily trade with it in mind but to have it in mind when you are monitoring the trade so this is the whole potential of this move because the move had the same potential the the way the way a swing goes up is generally the way a swing comes down so it moved very fast and continuously to the upside and it can have the same potential to move very fast and continuously to the downside. That's why I have been um, making these weekend and Friday boxes a little bit bigger. And then I'm, um, you might have noticed that maybe on Saturday or Sunday I'm, I'll be adjusting them. But the important thing is for you to know the full potential of it, because that's what I am looking at when I'm in a in a in a trade as well, for the for the profits now, because of the tight stop loss strategy, I don't have to worry about being in the red for fifty percent or sixty percent, or you know the trade reverses and goes the other way, and I have to DCA. I don't have to worry about that. But in terms of taking profits, it's good to know that there is. A bigger space that opens up and you can uh, follow it down and if you if you if you choose secure profit along the way if you see it for instance breaking the 05 but not getting to the 0618 it's good for you to maybe take some profit with a stop loss at the 0 0.5 anyways I think I think you already know that. but that's the reason why I'm making these boxes across daily levels and four hourly levels um, and I and I tend to include the whole level rather than just the support and resistance as per the wicks uh, the, the local wicks which is what I used to do but we were in less of an explosive space compared to where we are right now 
So that's um, that's that's Ethereum and uh, Bitcoin. It looks like they are on their way to making those corrections and. Um, here, here they are. They started to move. Um, I don't. Again, I don't anticipate this move will stop anytime soon. Not with what's happening on on the daily. If I am to look at Bitcoin and the way DMAs are looking, the ten is just now coming down. And yes, the only ones that could save it would be the fifty and the two hundred here. But there's a long a long way to go there it's and they're at 19.7 okay um so that's it uh do you guys have any questions about the levels for ethereum and bitcoin i don't i don't like the way the way i'm cutting through these wicks because it's not a, a, a beautiful support and resistance so we we could also take this level here wait for this to be broken and then back test it at 21.4 you said 21.6 i would have it around 21.4 so we could wait for that as well because that's the first this would be the first level of this peak formation level one level two and there we we would be going for level three which would be i think somewhere around 18.5 18.4 does that make sense? Yeah, I've got my levels at 21.5, um, 26, and then the next one's down, right down at 19,100, so mm -hmm. uh, I'm just looking for that. I might not catch it again because I'll be busy again tomorrow, but I will be looking for that um, that back test or, you know, a double top, so... Um, if I can do, hopefully, I'll be able to uh, get a bit of time and just map it out. Yeah, yeah, but don't don't worry, don't worry if you don't, because after this move, we'll probably be going again into a consolidation stage, and that consolidation stage initially will have a couple of good generous swings the way it had here. So these are yeah. the swings that I am waiting for, and these swings, as 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 terrible as they look, they are about uh, eight percent. So eight percent up and down. That would be that would be nice, and this is the one hour. So you can see, you can see that there, it's a different kind of consolidation here compared to what happened here. It'll be interesting as well to see how it um, it reacts to the the uh, descending, you know, since the all-time high, the sort of descending line of what what, what is now resistance, sorry, support, um, which it looks like it's coming in at around twenty-one thousand. So, um, yeah, that's right. I'm, I've literally done it wick to wick, though, rather than doing it, you know, from um, the the candles. Yeah, but I've got it for wick to the, you know, for join just the wick. Um, it, it comes in at around twenty one thousand. So twenty one. Yeah, on on the daily on the daily it's mm. uh, twenty. Yeah, I'm finding it hard. Like usually, my rule would be two touches and two strike throughs so that would be it that i i try to find i i try to find those four points of contact and none is no. none is because sometimes if it is too much then that means it's a it's not like it's constantly crossed that line and if it is too few then me it means it, price action is not getting there so I'm trying to 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 see if the swings can get uh, yeah but anyways th the difference is very very slight and I I agree with your levels I have 20 20 21 three on the daily and then 20 26 is the 55 it rarely let, let me show you it rarely comes uh, it rarely breaks the 20 without coming back down on the 55 and at least staying there and possibly back testing doing a short retrace yeah. it rarely rarely does that especially where so where was it here yeah we don't have too many examples because this has been here at the all-time high comes breaks the 20 comes down to the 55 comes up again and then back tests and it it does a couple of sideways but lower lows 
and lower highs. Same here. Breaks, little lift, and then comes down. Yeah. So I, I doubt I doubt it's not gonna come down and back test the fifty five. Really, thank you very much. You're very welcome. You're very welcome. Yeah, um, I did. I did a. Um, Yeah, I wanted to do a, a short in XRP today. I did one, I got stop lost out, and then I didn't uh, go into the second one because it wasn't looking like um, it was gonna keep going. I wanted to have my confirmation of uh, the loss of support, and then when I had my confirmation, it just made a massive one hour red candle. Uh, now, I'm going to get my notes, because I made some notes about this uh, choppy action and I left them in the other room. I'll just go get them now and I'll tell you all about um, why why this is such a tricky time to trade. Ah, there they were. <laughs> okay. okay. Actually got them, but they were behind me. Okay, so... Um, Sideways, sideways channels. Uh, when we when we looked at channels ages ago, uh, we I made a note saying that sideways channels uh, have two purposes. One of them is for continuation uh, with the trend, and the other one is for reversal. So, by definition, these two purposes are contradictory. Because we, let me change to the one, one, um, one day on, I'll show you on Ethereum because it's, uh, it's nicer. Ethereum has beautiful channels. So when we're looking, when we're looking at uh, sideways channels um, for continuation, we would be looking at a channel like this that is um, consolidating after a drop from the peak formation <coughs> sorry and then it consolidates and then the trend continues then we have a consolidation channel another consolidation channel here well this one was more like a triangle but you, you can put it in a channel as well it's a consolidating range so this consolidation range continued to the downside then we take the same channel right about here and I remember I remember getting caught in this uh, I would think this consolidation channel is similar to this and it is consolidating for another drop but in fact what it consolidated for was the reversal to the upside and here we had another consolidation channel and this consolidation channel consolidated <laughs> for a reversal to the downside and here we are back on this line and the question is now we are finding ourselves in a massive consolidation stage because this is the daily consolidation stage one touch to the top one touch to the bottom one touch to the top one touch to the bottom one touch to the bottom you get what i mean it, this is turned into a huge consolidation stage ranging sideways on the daily time frame which is a long time to be ranging sideways but why is this why has have have the past three weeks been so frustrating because these have had to be some of the most frustrating I don't want to use absolutes and say the most but definitely some of the most frustrating trading weeks for me and if I didn't have my tight stop-loss strategy of the five percent 
um, I think I would have uh, either be trapped in uh, in a trade right now, or I would have lost uh, and had to close a lot of trades, and I would have lost at least around fifty percent of my position. Whereas I think right now I am five or ten percent in the profit, but uh, happy to be available to follow this. Yes. Um, I took 15% profit and then had to give five away, 10% profit this week. So the the um, the point of this consolidation is the duration of it. It's the most protracted consolidation since this whole drop started. We have been in the same sp space on the daily for Ethereum and it's uh, similar to XRP and Bitcoin for the past uh, almost a month three weeks as you can see it didn't happen here we had this small space but it lasted a way less 17th of december to 14th of january so 14th sorry the the uh, 4th of january 18 days less um, here again it was less here again it was less here is the longest and I think it's testing it's testing um, it's it again psychologically it's a very um, uh, testing or demanding period for traders because you are trying to constantly read and anticipate and project where price action is going to go and it proves you wrong because of the space it's moving in it makes the analytical uh, instruments that you use it makes them very sensitive so the stochastics and the MAs and even the support and resistance levels become very sensitive to price action and price action moves um, more around them giving you fake signals um, of course of course if, if we are to look at the, the amount of swings that it does uh, for instance if we're to compare this consolidation with this consolidation we might find similarities but at the moment for three weeks we have been in this sideways and the range hasn't been super generous like the range has been a 10% range great you would say but you can see how how um, how these candles overlap each other so basically you can have one part of the day coming down one part of the day going up one part of the day coming down, one part of the day going up, and they in this or one day going up, one day coming down, and they fake uh, the targets as well. Now, because I anticipated how tired I'm gonna be at this age, I actually uh, at this age at this time <laughs> age as well, <laughs> feeling <laughs> feeling every year of my 39 ones. Um, at the moment I made notes so I have five quick points for you guys um, to notice in this consolidation and I'm gonna use bitcoins because that's what I used when I was preparing it and it's clear um, so this is the one hour consolidation uh, this is the one hour time frame for this consolidation and here we are I'm gonna bring this um, down and I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna um, uh, talk a little bit uh, first about the size of the range so for Bitcoin the range wasn't impressive at all it was 6.6 .6. great it, it's it is tradable I can't say it is not tradable at 10x it is totally tradable but in this range the core of this range is actually a lot less this is what's deceiving and I usually usually uh, my hindsight analysis proves me wrong <laughs> in my initial thoughts and ideas because I sometimes uh, I sometimes think something is wrong or something is positive or right and then I look back and the the the, the hindsight proves me wrong but in this case my intuition was telling me there is something negative about this even though it looks positive and it looks like a tradable range there's something negative about it and this channel showed me exactly what it was 
that was so negative about this well not negative because I don't want to use adversarial language that was not profitable about this the actual core of price action was this middle ground because it rarely even though we have a big range uh, we've had this was the swing that that said it the, the next swing didn't get didn't reach the top before coming back down when it came back down it spiked to the top very quickly so if you didn't have this target you wouldn't have got it because it went there super quick it was during power speech and then they took it all away from us and guess what they didn't reach the bottom so they stopped again at the at the core bottom rather than the bottom bottom from there onwards we didn't have a double bottom on the one hour we had a v-shape recovery and the first swing didn't get to the top it again stopped at the core so this was the core of price action dynamics and yes we did have towards the end two beautiful swings here but these beautiful swings they had this one had a double top here on the one hour but you would have uh, you would have needed to be awake for it during uh, a a Asia so right now uh, yes because it's that's it it's 20 yeah during Asia uh, this one was again uh, Asian times um, this one took a little bit longer to form and this one also had a nice double bottom here uh, but what was what was confusing here was move this line as well because it it was initially like this I had it like this and then as it stopped um, breaking out I had to move it and see that it's actually the overflow area so this swing up here this swing up here sorry so this swing here this swing here this swing here these three were the were the technical swings to trade from this consolidation because the other swings were very fast taken away from us they didn't offer double tops and they didn't offer double bottoms so they had quick retraces so the actual core of this consolidation was here and I wanted to reflect today why some consolidations are more more profitable to trade than others because their core is actually larger they don't have so many levels within levels and the core of this was 2.3 percent so of course I didn't see any uh, well not any I didn't see too many trades to be made here or to be to be risking entries here for a 2.3 percent profit because that's the the high this is the high profit box in this consolidation not the full one but this one you can go for the full one in the three swings and the three swings did have nice profits but again there's a catch there as well yes there are quick retraces and then you need to watch for you need to watch for those double tops and double bottoms you need to watch this consolidation because of its spikiness and the tone of this like I I wanted to, to see how can I identify such a stage next time how can I learn from this and and learn to identify it and I think the initial days with these spikes could be a clue for us like there can be some so many days with spikes for and price action going nowhere um, until we call it sideways choppiness so these spikes here both on the on the daily and the four hour and also the one hour as well these should be a, a, an orange flag initially and, and warn us of where we are in the future because this was identical this was the same very spiky very very spiky this one was even more uh, horrible to uh, trade but this was uh, shorter so it lasted from the 14th to the 20th six days compared not a third compared to this one anyways so uh, I've actually made 
three points of what I'm what I was gonna say so there's the small range the core range of a consolidation if it is too small it's not worth trading it it's worth waiting until it shows itself and keeping like if you keep yourself out of any position and you just wait for the breakout to the upside or the breakout to the downside and yes it, you might need a couple of entries here or a couple of entries here you might need that um, that patience for that back test and the one hour retracement to get in but after that you have the whole of the range as technical target so it would be worth it um, so now small ranges quick retraces um, fake support and resistance now I said the, the fake support and resistance um, because initially initially you like I would be I would be waiting for this swing from the top to come all the way down to the bottom and it doesn't uh, the same here when from here I expect it to go all the way to the top and it doesn't it stops a little bit above the core uh, range of this um, this one does go all the way down from all the way down it goes all the way up but look how many times it threatens to break the support so it goes up fails here fails here it fails here there were a lot of failures around um, the support and resistance so a lot of fake attempts to break it and I and I caught myself a couple of times on the chat saying oh we're breaking support just to find myself an hour later saying we're back again over over the 1640 or uh, the the 22.8 here we are back again we're holding support so um, yesterday's for instance yesterday's yesterday was looking great for a continuation uh, with the four hour holding support here holding support here and then looking like it's going to continue to the top and this was a fake support it was actually a back test of the 50 it broke the 50 back tested it and then uh, instead of reversing to the upside it it started coming down and all of this was happening while the stochastic on the daily was going up yesterday so that was that was that was what i found most tricky in this consolidation that I couldn't trust the daily stochastic anymore and the daily stochastic for Bitcoin and Ethereum is a hard one to move but it becomes very sensitive after three weeks of sideways it is easier to move it after that so um, there can be fake support fake resistance it, the, the price action doesn't get there uh, or it fakes the breaking of it just to reverse that's the kind of tricks that can happen uh, and that demands attention so you have to pay uh, attention and see that it doesn't it doesn't actually reverse and I've had for instance from uh, XRP I've had a couple of trades that I closed because it was holding support and today I had a, a trade that I didn't take because it was holding support and that was just fake support um, and it actually broke it so this is the nature of the market maker moves uh, now the last the last point that I wanted to make is connected to um, the emotional attachment and the bias that can happen during consolidation so if you get if you happen to get caught in in or trapped in a trade let's say you started longing here great position double bottom you didn't take your profit here because you said okay it's gonna come up uh, keeps you hanging gives you a higher high and then gives you another higher high this is given you three three opportunities to come out and you didn't take that 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 profit because what it did is it got you thinking this will continue to go higher and break to the upside look we're making higher highs then if you started shorting let's say you started shorting here it gives you higher highs but you're not looking at them here it gives you a low you're not taking profit 
it gives you a lower low. Here, it doesn't give you a lower low, it gives you a double bottom here. Now you might be thinking here, it gives me a double bottom, it's going to reverse, we're going to do another swing up. You might be taking your profits, happy days, you've taken profits, still you've waited all this time but still it's it's giving you it's giving you some profit you take it and then because because of the way this consolidation psychologically showed you that it's not going any lower you take your profit here and you start reversing and you might not again without tight risk management here you might find yourself almost giving back to the market this was a 4.7% move, and let's say you start a shorting here, and this is a, oh, <laughs> I don't know what I did there, but that looked fun. Um, so from 4%, and here was 4.3, 4 so 4.7 and 4.3. You almost gave back to the market what, what you took here, because the market, again, you think it proved you wrong, and you it it gave you higher highs it gave you higher lows so you think now here's going to reverse and there it is breaking out to the downside and it's taking the money back from you so because of the of the um that's why that's why i uh, i'm 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 so happy to be paying the five percent and to get out uh because yes the DCA strategy would keep you safe here, but I it it would be emotionally uh, demanding and emotionally taxing to be in all of this and try to keep keep a clear view of what's going to happen. But if you just you can you can play the consolidation game um, in terms of swings and be ruthless with the core targets and take your money at the core targets. Happy days keep your mind clear and open because this can break either to the upside or to the downside or you can get trapped because you didn't do risk management or you didn't take profit these are the the main two things that can happen no risk management and no taking profit and without these two in place you get invested in your position and then when your position is proven wrong you're happy to be taking profit and reversing just for the market to take the profit away from you in both situations the market has got your money because here it got you hooked with the three highs happy days one two three yay we're going higher 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 boom reverse so even if you started longing here now you are 4.7% in the red and probably gonna be liquidated because it might continue it might continue a lower it, I don't think it's gonna go back to this level so even if you had a great longing position if you didn't take your profit here now you're in the red so the emotional investment and bias that this this these consolidation um, channels could not necessarily trigger but harness cultivate in in traders are the real in my opinion the real uh, um, threat here uh, they're not opportunities in terms of yeah we can uh, we can we can make them opportunities but we first I believe we should be cautious about the threats and in my opinion the, the bias and the, the, the psychological games of repetition that can happen in these sideways, choppiness, they can be a real threat to us as, as traders. And that comes because these channels serve the purpose to collect orders both ways. In order for the market to move, it needs orders, it needs liquidity. And these channels collect the liquidity both ways and then the market will move only one way the traders that went with the market once the market showed direction they're the real winners the traders that traded this consolidation taking more conservative um, profits are, are winners as well the traders that 
took a position in this consolidation and didn't take profit or didn't secure profit and they had the um, the market reverse on them they're the ones paying for the winners so it's up to us to keep our options uh, and our capital safe and clear so we need to have capital when this shows itself to be watching for a re-entry because there will be back tests. That's why we, we did a whole session on trading breakout. So there will be back tests on the four hour. There will be back tests on the four hour. I still hold the four hour in mind and this is what I am trading right now. The four hour is the one that shows me that this is just started. So this will continue and will will be able to go with it. There's no panic. If you've missed trading this, this is actually for your benefit. Um, the, the, the universe actually took care of you there, Lee. So, uh, so you, you didn't miss out on anything, not for Bitcoin's range. So that's, that's what I wanted to, to tell you about, uh, about these um, consolidations. There are channels. I'm not going to repeat what I said about trading channels. Um, it's just that where we are right now in the market, I think it's the um, it's the it's the last it's the last rally before a massive leg down. I might be wrong, but that's that's where I think we are, and this is meant to collect a lot of orders in terms of traders um, and even retail that are uncertain but don't want to miss out FOMO. So that's 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 it. There's also a lot of there's there were there were also a lot of people shorting the market. I remember I remember a, a commentator saying that it's the short uh, traders that are paying for this lift at the moment, and that might be true. Uh, they might be the ones that are um, uh, that were targeted so far uh, with those higher highs in Bitcoin. But in my opinion, it's again, it's perfectly normal. I don't want to take it as an adversarial or a, as a confrontational situation because it's not the market's not a confrontation. But it is, it is a, um, it's a, it's a time when we need to keep clear uh, and to identify what it is and be patient for the market to show itself. Or if we we do want to trade, we need to know that we can either be conservative about the targets or we need to watch it and take our profits um, if we are unsure about what's going to happen. So, so that's it. the the message The message is: don't get trapped in this, or get invested in any direction in this. Okay, now do you guys have any questions or any um, any thoughts? Is, is there anything that's that's coming to you right now? A lot of thoughts, but um, they're not that clear, and I don't want to keep you up any later. Uh, okay, Michael. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. I don't know if I were, if I, if I, if if I could 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 handle new thoughts. <laughs> um, uh, let's 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 chat on on the Discord, Michael. If you if you have uh, if if you if you if they come back to you tomorrow. Okay. Thank you. That'll work. Super, super. Now I was just looking at uh, I was just looking at this this channel now, and I was just playing with the lines of support and resistance, and uh, it would be fun to see how these play out now that we've opened up a little bit more space for Bitcoin. I'll keep you guys posted. Um, so uh, let's let's see how we're um, how how this is gonna play out. I'll um, I'll chat to you guys in the.